Mac Voices is supported by Eero, the wireless mesh network solution that you need. Visit Eero.com to get yours and use the coupon code MacVoices to receive free overnight shipping. Mac Voices is in Woodstock, Illinois for MacStock 2017. I'm Chuck Joyner. Guy Searle is here, here, and Guy just photobombed the previous interview. Guy, what are you doing? It was an accident. I, I really didn't mean to. It, you were behind the OWC table. How was that an accident? Um, uh, amnesia. <laughs> Temporary insanity. That's closer. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Um, uh, I had to go to the other side of the room, and, and that's the way I needed to go. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> how's Max Stock been for you? Oh, Max Stock has been wonderful. Every single year for like the last three years, uh, the the fact that that all of these people can get together and you know listen to the talks and come out here and, and meet and greet all the people that they ha maybe they haven't seen for a year, maybe they've never seen ever in their entire lives, and now you know new best friends everywhere and and nice OWC swag. <laughs> little free plug there. Yeah. It's it's so hard, I think, for so, uh, people that aren't part of this community to understand that you come and, yeah, you, sh you sit down beside somebody you don't know, shake hands, and you have an instant friend. Exactly. And, you know, and the, the thing that, that people who aren't Apple users or not Mac users or, or iPhone users or the rest of that, when they, when they talk about, you know, oh, I, I can't understand why people who use Apple products are acting this way. I do my own thing and blah, 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 blah. It's like... You know, the, the, the whole point of coming to a conference like this isn't to brag. It, it's not to say, well, you know, my setup is so much better than your setup and to compare, you know, God only knows what the hell it is that they compare. Uh, it's to get to know the, the other people that also use Macs, find out the kind of solutions that they have for the stuff that they do, which can lead to solutions to... Which can lead to which way am I going here? That can lead to solutions that you may never have thought of before. So you know, that's why you come to conferences like this to to meet the people and and to find out if there's some way to do something that that you just didn't think of. You know, you said something interesting there, which mm -hmm. is kind of a wow. surprise. Yeah, um, yeah, but no, that that it's not. You don't come here to brag. Nobody. You're right. There's no sense of bragging here. It's all about information sharing. It's like, hey, did you remember you can do this? This is how I do that. You know, and if you want to do it, this is how you can do it too. And, and that sounds so simplistic, but it's so true. And you, you're right. And I never even, honestly, bragging is the farthest thing that is is part of this community. It's just it's not, not here. It's not just this conference. I mean, you went to all the Mac World Expos. You know, you've been to uh, hundreds of conferences like this. And every single one of those you've gone to that have been Apple-focused, you don't have people that talk about their gear and talk about their setups and say, you know, this is the only way to do it. You can only do it this way. If you don't do it this way, then, then you're a flipping idiot. You know, you don't get any of that like you would at... Uh, some particular types of conferences that, uh, well, well, we'll call them out, Windows or Linux. You know, the, the Windows guys are all comparing specs. The Linux guys are all comparing code. And none of them are actually talking to each other about the processes that they use to actually accomplish whatever tasks it is that they actually bought a computer for. Whereas on the Mac side, somebody has a problem with their Mac, you can almost count on someone here coming up and saying, oh, do you have a problem? Let me help you with that. And if they can't find a solution, they can at least point you to somebody else who may have the solution. I'm excited to tell you that Eero is the newest sponsor of Mac Voices. Why am I excited? Because mesh networking is one of the hottest things going in making wireless communication for your home or business more reliable, faster, and with better coverage. And Eero is at the top of the list. I was fairly happy with my previous wireless router and had become accustomed to the range coverage in my house, where the less than ideal spots were, and the updates that occasionally came out that took a little bit of time to install. Then I had the chance to install the Eero system, and I won't be going back. With Eero, I have coverage that gives me wireless access throughout the house, the yard, and beyond. Even better, setup took only about 10 minutes, and I was up and running with no problems. I'll be telling you more about my personal Eero experience this week, but right now, I want to make sure you understand 
how they do what they do. It's simple, really. The second generation Eero system has just launched and makes Eero even better. Now you get one Eero and one or two beacons. The Eero itself sits flat on your desk and probably takes up less space than your old router. The beacons are not extenders like you might have used before, but mesh access points that are small enough to be unobtrusive and plug directly into an electrical outlet. They even come with an ambient nightlight option that you can turn on or off as you see fit. These are more powerful than the Eero Gen 1, but that doesn't mean that anybody's left out because Eero Gen 2 beacons are backward compatible. And with the new thread radio, you can easily connect your favorite low-power Internet of Things devices like doorbells, locks, and more. Need to connect other devices via Ethernet? No problem. Eero comes with a second Ethernet port that you can connect to a switch or hub to deliver expandability that grows as you need it to. There's so much more to tell you about Eero. Their ease of setup, the impressive range, the security, the ease of maintaining the system, but we'll get to all that. Right now, I want you to know that Eero systems start at just $399 for one Eero and two beacons, and that's all you need to get started with Eero. In fact, that may be all you need because of the coverage and efficiency of Eero, but if you have a mansion or a large office, no problem. Eero can cover that too. Right now, you can get free overnight shipping by visiting Eero.com and using the coupon code MACVOICES at checkout. That means that if you hurry up and order right now, by tomorrow, you can be up and running with your new Eero Mesh Network. It really is that easy to set up. You're going to love the power, simplicity, coverage, and speed of Eero, but you have to get it first. So again, visit Eero.com and at checkout, use the code MACVOICES to receive overnight shipping. Thanks to Eero and welcome as a new sponsor of Mac Voices. I don't know if you were here early enough, but part of this year's Mac stock is a, a Mac swap table where people are bringing in old technology and seeing if anybody else wants it so they can use it. Yeah, a lot and, of this stuff here is mine. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot of this stuff. And, and this morning we have, uh, have a G5 um, Mac Pro Tower, and there was a problem with it, and it was on the floor, and there were three guys on the floor with the G5 tower trying to figure out what they could do about it. If I've, I'll stick some pictures in here. It was it was great. And that's, I mean, that was like the epitome of Mac stock is, okay, we have a problem. Let's everybody get together and see if we can solve it. Yeah, it, it's not even really just Mac stock, though this is, this is a prime example of how it works. Uh, it, it's the, the Mac user group. You don't hear about PC user groups. You don't hear about Windows user groups. You don't hear about Linux user groups. Because these are all guys doing their own, guys and girls, of course, sorry, 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 all doing their own thing. And, but with, within the Apple community, for the most part, you know, there's always exceptions, but for the most part, there is a sense of community. And there, there is a sense of, you know, I'm doing this, you can do this too, let me show you how. I wanted to make sure we we, t we touch on. I mean, you do the My Mac po podcast with Gaz Maz, right. and Gaz next year Woodstock, Illinois, be here. No excuses, okay? No excuses. But you're also doing something a little bit new called um, Mac to the Future. Yeah, I'm doing a, a live cast on Wednesday nights at eight eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time over in the the Mac to the Future Facebook page, and um, it's been interesting. I've had some spectacular spectacular audio failures. Uh, I use a program called Loopback from, from Rogue Amoeba, and you can drop hardware, you can drop software. You know, If it generates audio, you can put it in Loopback and have it come up. Well, I made the mistake of having Finder in there, and so I accidentally hit something, and it started looping my own audio back to me, and it very soon became almost like a Pink Floyd song, you know, where it's so <laughs> surreal. And you know, I had I had to actually stop and start all over again. Um, but I, I'm like 17, 18 shows into that, and it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I'm always looking for new ways to to do things along those lines. I, I love doing podcasting. Uh, I love doing stuff along those lines. I, I would like to get to the point where, if it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg, to take live calls and, you know, make it more... You know, I have always wanted to be a radio DJ, so you know that that's kind of the the area that I'm I'm trying to get to. But it's it's not easy, and the parts that make it easy are not cheap. So, 
But think about where we started with podcasting. It oh, was yeah. not easy. It was certainly not cheap. And now we have all kind of tools that anybody can get into it mm -hmm. very affordably. So this is early days for, for the live stuff and what you're trying to do. And, you know, well, what, you, the, you don't even you don't even have to have a computer or yes. a microphone or anything to get into podcasting. If, if there is a local library that has computers, you can use their computer as long as their permissions will let you put something out. Uh, but yeah, it, the, the, the great thing about podcasting is it's the equalizer. And anyone can have a voice. Anyone can can push that voice out. And I encourage people to do so. Even if they, if it's a podcast about people who don't like Apple Apple stuff, I don't care. You know, get your voice out there. It's it's what we should be doing. Amen. Amen. So it's Wednesday nights, eight p.m. Eastern. Wednesday nights, eight p.m. Eastern time on the Mac to the Future page. Uh, you'll need to be part of the page to join in live. Uh, though after I'm done. I do upload it to YouTube, and uh, on occasion, I'll, I'll just put it on my personal page if it's not really awful. But, uh, yeah, it's it's fun. All right. Well, I know the guys in the white coats are here to take you away. Yeah, so I, Well, they got my meds. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for the time. Sure. And we'll see you Wednesday nights at 8. Yes, yeah. I, and I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> More from Max Stock 2017. Things are a little out of control here, folks. More from Max Talk 2017. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by CashFly at CashFly.com.